Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the third episode of Perch Pro 9. Last week the teams finished their first day of fishing and what a crazy one it was. Four points were handed out to four different teams so all eight teams that are still very much in the game when we for the first time in Perch Pro are entering Shore Day. Thank you Perch God! Perch Pro 9 is brought to you by Big Pike Trailers, premium boat trailers made in Latvia. Westgear, your boat dealer in Sweden. One Boat Network, all together now. And JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. We have already seen Shore Day in Sander Pro and now it's finally time to introduce it to Perch Pro. Fishing from boat is not permitted but it's allowed to use the boat for moving around to new spots. Today the teams can also choose when to start their 10 hours of fishing and the first team to start are hungry for revenge after collecting zero points yesterday. Team Headbanger. We are in the car right now, we decided to do an early start, the alarm rang at 3 in the morning. Uh, we have a big thunderstorm coming in uh, with some heavy rains, so we wanted to get out on the water as soon as possible. We will see how the perch react today with the dramatic weather change. It's 18 degrees inside south now, and yesterday was one of the warmest days of the year. So um, we'll see, but Sporting seemed to have had good fishing yesterday with the thunderstorm, so... <laughs> Maybe it's our day today. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. We just arrived at the spot we're gonna fish and the uh, sun is starting to rise. It looks like a beautiful morning so far, but the weather is going to change. Yeah. <laughs> so we better hurry up and get to the lake because we have quite some walking to do. And today we're like for the, going for the top five, I think. Yeah. And we'll really like to make a topwater fish as well. Yeah. We will try really hard to make that. So guys, See follow the water. Yeah. <laughs> Team Eholotes.eu are the next team getting ready to enter Shore Day. Yesterday they managed to catch a total of 180 perch and even though it wasn't enough for the number point, the mood is on top and they are ready to battle for new points today. Okay guys, uh, day two. Day two, uh, second day, new opportunities. Six uh, fishes more? Yeah, actually it was <laughs> so close to take one point from yesterday. First point? First point in our career in Perch Pro. Uh, anyway, a new day, new opportunities. We are... New points. Yeah. <laughs> and we, today. We and today we from shore. And we not only from shore. You know what it is? It is uh, swamp shoes. And we know some biggies living in some very swampy places. We will go for them with hard bites, with rubber stuff yeah we will use another huge rubber another, stuff as well yeah another savamura box you see the sizes are a bit different yeah and the hooks are a bit bigger so you know this is going to be another day another interesting day and heavy duty because the obstacles will be really really tricky there uh, just follow us and we will yeah. keep fingers crossed we will yeah. try to do our best yep so we have walked for a couple of minutes and now we can see the lake for the first time. It's over there. Uh, so and I found us some breakfast. <laughs> cool. So now we can yeah, soon be perch fishing. Come on. Nice, let's go. Yeah. Team Headbanger have made their first cat at their first spot and it does not take long for Marcus to hook up. It's a perch. It's this a, perch. a perch? Yeah. I can help you. I have the net here, Marcus. Just pull it in. Nice. Good job, Marcus. First fish. <laughs> Good start. Looked like a nice one. I will continue fishing. Yeah. Or do you need my help to measure it? No, it's okay. First fish of the day. It's a nice perch. Uh, it's for sure over 430, so we will measure it. 39. 39, yeah. 39 centimeter. Awesome. On the bigger size cranky shad in the perch color, we will release it and keep fishing. While most teams are still in bed, Marcus gets the first shorty perch in the history of Perch Pro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what, what the f was that? 
something bumped my foot and then I realized it was the perch. Hello guys, welcome to episode 3 of Perch Pro. We are driving long way around because they closed the bridge for us that we could not pass today. That was out of our calculation. So now we're driving around to get to, to our spots for the shore fishing. Starting time was supposed to be 7 o'clock. Yes, but yeah. it's five minutes left. We are going to be late today. But it's good because uh, it's a free starting time, so we will not lose any fishing. But yes. the, the morning is also one of the best times of the day, so it is a little bit pity that we miss it, but uh, what, yeah, nothing we can do about it. We got some uh, company, some audience. I'm fishing in front of Marcus with the Spitfire to try to get a perch on the top water. Uh, and Marcus follows me with the Cranky Shad that runs a bit deeper uh, to try to target the fish that don't want to rise up on the surface. Uh, so far I haven't felt anything on the top water, but I'm, I'm hopeful. The weather is a bit tough, it's hard to cast against the wind and the temperature have dropped a lot since yesterday. So. We don't know if the perch will be in the mood, but we hope for the best. Uh, we, don't, we try to not spend too long time on each spot. We make a few casts and then we move on, try to cover quite some distance. This is a big lake and the perch can be spread out and we will walk back the same distance again so we don't have to uh, stay a long time on it any spots, it's better to find the productive spots and then focus on those later. It feels like a pike though, but... Yeah? No, it's a nice perch. Ooh. Yeah. You have to just... Oh. Ooh, I'm really close to getting <laughs> wet. <laughs> oh, f I need can, to get down from this rock. Can you take the net? Because I'm yeah. just with my... Uh, like the front of my legs towards a log and the rest is sinking. Uh, help? Soon. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, it's muddy here. Nice. Okay, take the net now. Yeah, I'll sure. Try to like get down from this rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. And the rain. <laughs> I will help Marcus measuring his nice perch and Marcus will continue fishing. 36 centimeters. That's one of the smaller perch we have ever caught in this lake, uh, but still a nice fish. So we will release it now and hope for a big one. Okay, bye bye. Nice, okay Marcus, catch some more. Yeah, I can't hear anything when I have the Put it on. Oh, it's a really big perch, actually. Whoa. <laughs> yes, awesome. Yes, that feels so good on top water. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> yeah, this is the biggest of the day. Boom. Woo! Ah, after the tough day yesterday, this feels so good. He really smacked that bait. It's so nice. And as we experienced last year, we also had the good topwater fishing in the rain which is pretty new to me. It's not something that I would have expected. It was really cool. I'm gonna unhook this fish and measure it. Look, it's hooked quite deep on the front hook. I actually need to get my pliers out for this. Okay, so let's me measure this beautiful fish and continue fishing. 44 centimeters. Okay, so 44 centimeter perch. That means we're not tied with the other guys, but still it's a super nice fish. So I will release this beautiful fish 
and continue fishing. Third approved perch for Team Headbanger and this last 44 cm perch caught on a topwater lure is something for the other teams to beat when they have woken up after a good nights of sleep. We can tell you what, uh, what we are going to do now. We are going to fish on Swampy Place and uh, this is an island in the middle of lake and uh, the fish lives just under the edge. So we need to help somehow to get that fish out and uh, it will be complicated, especially when the fish will be big. So, because it can catch old trees, old st stuff, ever, ever, very many stuff. And I will show you what we will take. We take light grams, we take strong rods, and we will use also, for unhooking, we prepared such things. So we put this on the line and go down and open. This is strong. So, and, and we can reach our lure and get it back. So, this is an idea how to avoid losing a lot of expensive lures. And this is 20 minutes past seven and we are ready for our first cast on second day. Hey guys. Bonjour. Welcome to episode three. Short day. I'm really excited about that. I don't want to tell that we are experienced short day, uh, <laughs> shore, shore fishermen, um, but we are. Yeah, we fish pretty much our whole life from the shore, so. We shouldn't be um, too nervous about this. The plan is, I guess, the same as yesterday, secure yeah. the topwater point, and then hopefully secure the topwater point, and then go to the deep edges, keep hammering. We might not catch a lot of fish, maybe one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, when we are lucky. If we're lucky, but this hopefully are good ones. That's at yeah. least the plan. Lass die Spiele beginnen. Let's go. Keep on using. Keep on using. <laughs> Perfekt Schlag. Yes, the strategy for this morning, as always, go for top water in the morning. So uh, we are here at a little, yeah, at the end of a lake, where it goes in a small channel to the next one. We do maybe 20 minutes here. We had some good top water action here, but it could be, you know, an on-off spot. So sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's nothing. Then we get the boat, get the waders on, and go to a lake where we fish like weed edges and stuff to hopefully, we are not too late, catch some top water fishes. Looking forward to that and hopefully you guys do the same too. Keep on hoozing. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're Team Shimano and we having a little bit of problem when we was driving to our spot. It was a bridge closed. Uh, they're doing some repairs on it. So we need to take a, a way that takes almost 20 minutes extra. So we're gonna make a long detour, or we need to make a long detour, uh, and uh, probably we're gonna be a little bit late to our spot. I hope that we don't have any guests on that, because I have a little bit of feeling that maybe we have another team going to that, that lake. It's a really small lake and it's an island on it, and we're gonna try to fish from that island. So, finally we got one fish. This is beautiful. Swampy 33, but we see that we are not a soul who, who try to eat him or catch him. <laughs> so it has some teeth of pike too. So we leave it. Bye bye. But yeah, need we change. need better activity, sport. so we change the spot. Yeah. This is short day, and we are on island. Super beautiful place, and for us, it's a totally new experience as well. Because in Latvia, it's impossible to to fish like that, that way. Uh, all the cuts should be very precise uh, due to the line of shoreline. All shore is full of, full with uh, brushes and trees and so on. That means that keep as close as possible to the shoreline. Uh, on pre-fishing there was a good, good purchase. Not on quantity, but uh, definitely on quality. Now, I don't know why, but they are so slow at the moment. Beautiful place, beautiful place, and we hope that uh, we'll, we'll get some, some biggies here. This is by Tablik arriving to, uh, to the spot where we're gonna put the boat in. This is also our starting spot for fishing from shore. So we'll do some fishing here for one, two hours, depending on how it goes, and then move on with the boat, going uh, land, fishing from shore, going to the next, next place. Keep on doing that all day. So we hope uh, it will bring us some big fish today. This is the most important thing when you go out fishing. You cannot go out fishing without this one. And after the toilet paper, this one is the next 
most important thing. <laughs> Toilet paper and put the plug in. Then you are now off to the fishing spots. Toilet paper. Strange guy. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> we have like a yeah, it's shallow area first, so we will go out like 10 meters here. And then there are some pipes on the bottom of the water, heat pipes. Makes uh, the bait fish schooling up there, close to that, and the perch come in and hunts. We don't know if we will reach them. If, if they are standing longer out, we will not reach them from shore. But sometimes they are close, so we will make a try for that. Look, somebody has been here, I think, I think. But we don't know who it is, can be anyone, but maybe it's... Some other team. This is the lake where we're going to fish now. We have a little bit of hurry now because we had really success with the, the World Pop, a top water from Chimano. And we're here te uh, testing this lake. So let's see if we can have some success. Why did he go out? Why did you go out? I'm going fishing. <laughs> it's a perch pro. Come, 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 come. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> my French guy. I love him. We are closing up at, at our island that we're gonna to fish today. That's gonna to be our home today. Uh, we had some success on practice and now we're gonna drive around it a little bit, not going too close because on this side we have lots of rocks on the bottom, big rocks on the bottom and the perch stands around it and it's also a roach around it. So we're gonna take a little bit of long turn, uh, not to scare the, the perch. It's a little bit windy today, but I think uh, the top water and, and the world minnow and the world crank will do some damage today. So we are pumped for this. We are now officially going to start fishing. Uh, the time is 8.40. Um, I'm going to start using the new Jase series from Shimano. Uh, also, I'm going to use it with the, the Mirawell, the new reel, new spinning reel from Shimano. Uh, and I'm gonna try a lipless crankbait, the Sherwab, uh, just to see if the perch are active. It's in the morning and uh, we know that they have a feeding period in the morning, so we're gonna start doing some hard baits. Um, and I hopefully they will react on this lure. On my side, I'm starting with the top water to see if fish are active. Oh, <laughs> just... Hey, it seems to be validate maybe, no? No, <laughs> just, just put it down in the water, crazy. I just put it down in the water and make one turn to see how it moves and poof. Yeah, yeah it's a good sign. Maybe it's almost 29. Too small, but the perch seem to be active if you catch one without even trying. First, five of the eight teams have now started fishing, but all four points still belong to Team Headbanger, who were the first ones out on the shoreline this morning. Hope it's a good one. Feel small? Yeah. I have the measuring board though. With you? Okay. Maybe you can throw it into the shore. Yeah, I will throw it. Nice fish on the, it totally inhaled the, the bigger size cranky shad. Uh, it's quite a slim, but it's still, it's long. Maybe it's around like 39 or something like that. Slim, slim fish, but still 39 centimeters. I will. Release it and keep fishing. Four approved perch for Team Headbanger. The tough weather they were afraid of have arrived, but it doesn't stop them from fishing. So this is our fifth approved fish. So I will put it on the measuring board now. It took on the cranky shad, uh, the bigger size in the bleak color. We think it's like maybe 38, 39 or somewhere like that. 40 centimeter cranky shad perch. Awesome. Now we will like, I think we will count and see what our top five is at the moment. Bye bye beautiful perch. Okay, so we just counted the uh, top five and it's uh, currently at uh, 198 centimeter. Uh, quite decent start, but uh, now we'll start uh, updating. So I don't have time standing here, I will go fish. I'm still fishing the, or again fishing a tough buck from Norris because it just brought me so many good fishes the last weeks or the last days, like darker color than yesterday. But uh, I might change to the silver one later again. So we try this one and hopefully, this was actually the lure that delivered the fish yesterday. So we hope the same thing can happen today again. Although we are kind of late for the topwater fishing, to be honest. And it delivers again. 
That's the first perch of the day. I have to go to Marius as quick as I can because he has the measure board or maybe we just can use my one. So I think at least it is a clicker. 33. What I try to do is there's a lot of bait fish in front of these stony shallow areas and the water pushes down. Some of the fishes and the perches are hiding between the stones and what I try to do is to get the lure over the stones that they came up to, to chase after that. And yeah, it worked out. I get the strike in front of my feet and awesome. Just awesome. That's what we try to do. It's time for the sixth team to join Shore Day. After catching a total of 186 approved perch yesterday, Team Catch With Care are ready for a new day after a well-deserved night of sleep. Good, Good morning, morning guys! Day two, Perch Pro, shore fishing day. What the beep are we doing in the boat? Well, we're going reef jumping in the river. So we thought we pack up the boat, you know, bring the waders, everything, head on out. It's yeah. a sunken wooden island. Yeah, it's, so, it's like flat, like really shallow. We drive to the spot, it's in the middle of the river, and we do like uh, fishing uh, from the shore of course because yeah. it's shore fishing day it's bank day yeah. and we think that the tables are going to be turned upside down this will be the most important day for perch pro because uh, we think that winning this day maybe one or two points can turn it all upside down so uh, we have a good game plan we have practiced it really good yeah and uh, we go all in for the numbers and a big top uh, water fish. Yeah, that's the game plan. Yeah. Overall four points and a additional top water point. So uh, fingers crossed for fingers our guys. Fingers crossed, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheer for us, team catch with care. I'm trying top water at the moment because here we have great chance to get some 45 plus. It doesn't look like this, but they are here. Here is a very sharp edge, and they live just under that sharp edge. Where they are now, on this side or that side, or longer there, we don't know, but we look for them. We trust they are here. The small ones are biting, we get small ones, but we don't feel the big ones. But we trust this place, and we will spend here some two more hours. And if, if this will not succeed, we will go to quantity place. Team Neistroft are always late out on the water. Yesterday's 50 centimeter perch gave them one point and they were only one centimeter from getting the top five points as well. Now they're getting ready for shore day. Welcome to the next episode for Perch Pro, but we are not on the water. No, and we are Team Neistroft. That's where we are. We are, yes. that's right. <laughs> But we have to go, before we uh, go fishing, we have to go to a fishing store here, Fauna Hengelsport, really nice store in the Netherlands, to buy some stuff because we had great success yesterday yes. with a special lure, with a special hat, and that's what we have to organize. And then we start late, as always. For sure, and it's also, also fun to visit the fishing stores when you're a tourist. Yes. And we both tourists here so in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's true. So, so let's check out how a Netherlands uh, Dutch fishing stores look that's like. That's very good. And let's <laughs> hurry up. We will start at 11 roundabout. Yes. So we have to make it real quick. Do you find where you, what you're looking for? Yes. Heavy stuff, heavy buying, blade runner. Buying your own stuff. But look at it. <laughs> it's sold out, uh, for sure. It was full of mace runner full of our spinner baits and stuff like that, so it goes quite well. But I have to buy my own stuff because I didn't bring enough. Okay, three packages would be enough, right? Yes. Craw, CO1, very good color. I think we have to hurry up, we have to go to the next spot, and then we try to hammer the first mm. shore spot. Yes, for a big one. We caught a 49 centimeter when we were training there two days ago. So we have high hopes to catch another big, big one there. But you never know in Holland, it could totally change from one day to another. Good morning and welcome to episode three. We are in the Middleside Lake. We are in our waders and we are ready to go. Ready to go, ready to rock, ready to fish. Let's First go, cast. first cast. First cast going right there. The fish are around the two, three meters. 
depth out here it's up to 10 meters just about 30 meters out air pressure has been rising it's rising but it's quite low cloudy weather about three meters per second wind no rain but most likely it will start to rain 10 15 meters out it dropped to six meters so i think there's a there should be a good chance to get a top water fish i hope we'll see i keep working on it it's a little bit more than two hours left until the launch report and this will be the last report of the tournament. After this, they will all be fishing in the dark. Okay, guys, fished for the one, for one hour. Uh, just caught a lot of few uh, small ones on, on reaction bait. Uh, turned off my, one of my favorite tactics, the Ned Rig, and we got the first approved. So, we ha 36. Yes, first one. Great. First approved fish, 36 centimeter. Oh, yes. That small one. First batch of uh, episode 3 for me on top water. That's great. Small, but let's go for bigger. We made it to the first of the many islands we're going to jump around yeah. on. So maybe some of you guys think, oh, that's not bank fishing, but the rule says you have to be standing on firm ground and not in the boat. All right, first cast, bank day. Roll out. It's a beaut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven striped perch. Hiya. 11. Can you beat 11? Try to. Okay. Nice perch. Like, could be, could be really nice. Clicker. Take the net under it. Can you get the clicker from the compartment? Oops, I like these. Plenty of stripes, went for the pigster tail on the net rig. You see the small island? The small... Uh, yeah, the... brown spot. Yeah. That's like a top. And then to the right, it's dropping off a bit and there's, you know, some weeds and stuff. But it's, it's like two meters. So it's really shallow. I try to fish in the... Yeah, because the drop is, is quite sharp. You see the weeds over there? Watch your step. I think that's like, uh, I don't know where, the, where it begins, but the weeds, the green weeds down there, out there it's like seven meters right outside. Shall we go? Yes. Let's boogie. Now we stop fishing here. We get the boat packed slipped it to the water and then we go to our first spot and we hope to increase that fishes for a good top five we will see let's go still pretty slow fishing from the shore team eholotes.eu who caught a total of 180 perch yesterday are not happy with their start of shore day but now they finally got one nice color real swampy you see it's black as hell shining Small fish eater. It took a small chatter bite. And I had about seven bites in just one hook. So they are absolutely inactive. Okay, let's measure. Let's measure. 38. 38. Not so bad, but bad. We needed like yeah. 48 here. But no, we leave this place and we don't know will we come back here. But there is an idea after quantity to return. So now guy, you should go. Go, 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 go. Yep, we, so we tried two, two different spots, both on islands. Uh, actually, it doesn't succeed because uh, our plan was, uh, of course, there's no quantity place, but uh, the place for, for 40 plus. Just, actually, just 40, one, 45 we needed here. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and just, just one, 38, that's it. And it's so slow fishing here at the moment. I don't know why, but super slow. Uh, so unexpected no no we are moving to quantity point and, and make 
rock and roll and then come back here silently again. Do you take the net? Yeah. It's coming over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Good job, Marcus. Thanks. Nice fish. This took when I fished really, really slow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, it's like full of trees here. <laughs> yeah. I will. But they are smaller on average today, and it's loose. <laughs> nice fish. We haven't caught a perch in a while, so it feels pretty nice. I was fishing the cranky shad really slow. We'll see how long it is. It's an upgrade, at least. It's, yeah, it's 38 centimeters. Nice fish on the cranky shad bleak. They are so beautiful. <laughs> I just lost my Spitfire, so now I have to retie. And I, I use an FG knot, which is uh, one of the best knots connecting uh, mono to um, uh, braided line. And I have my own technique of doing it. There are several ways you can do it. But I put the braided line in, in my mouth, giving it some tension. And then I just work around it with the monofilament. So now I've made I made 18 wraps on this one. Fish! Nice. Do you have a net by your place? No, it is it was no fish, it was just a stick. Ah. Uh, Ouch! Nice fish! <laughs> okay, we can have a little look at this at, in the end. The knot is basically done. It's a very small knot and you can easily reel it through the guides if you want to have a long leader. Uh, so now I just need to trim the tag ends and then we're done. So this is the finished knot and now I'm ready for some topwater action. And a quick pick up break to get some new energy. So, it's 10.38, let's do the first cast. Please catch them, Dustin. Yeah, this cast was not that good, so I do another one. I'll go and try top water outside a little bit. I think... Or do you want to leave? No, I want to try a, long, uh, a bit longer, but I think maybe you go to the other side and try the other hole where you saw the bait fish. Yeah, sure. I'm trying the top water lure because we see a lot of bait fish here jumping a little bit further out. So I'm going to try the top water, see if we can get the biggest fish on the top water. Because we know there are big fish here. So it's all about fishing at the end of the cast. That is the, you know, if you're going to be close to a hot spot, that is the hot spot. So just after a few meters, just reel it in and do the cast again. Because closer to us, it's too shallow, the fish is not standing there. So that is also why the drop shot is really good, because you can be more static, stay on the same spot, still get some movement on the bait. Okay guys, we are changing spot. Nothing happened on the first spot, so oh. now we have to start jumping yeah. around. Adjust, yeah. search. So follow us and we go. So now we're hitting the next spot. We have some uh, bait fish out here and uh, we think, think we will reach them. But the weed line is going really far out, so it's difficult condition. Just trying to drop shot on the outside of, of the weed line. A fish? Oh, no. f***. It took... Oh, no, no, it took in the grass. It took in the grass when I brought it in. <laughs> you see? It hit it in the surface. I thought it was behind you, but that was your lure. That one would go on for popper. Should I try? I don't know, yeah. I think that one would have gone for popper. I will try. Yeah. I hope Kingfisher goes for the top water point. Try again. So I can steal it from them. Fish. Not better, I think. No. So it's another 28, I think. <laughs> not even that. No, no, it's not even that. Release the beast. <laughs> Still no luck for Team Bite Oblique, but better it goes for Team Shimano, who now have three approved fish. Yes, yeah, so I, I was trying something else because uh, I haven't got some success with the other bait and I'm trying a, a soft one with the orange head like a big nose from the clown. 
you know, and it seems to be okay with the, the perch. You and see? I was falling down yes. when I was you, grabbing you, it. You are, you are jumping. On, <laughs> on this. So I so thought it was a big one. one. It's a big yes, one. Mate. It's really nice. For today, it's, it's top fish for it's, us, it's I think. A big one for us. We have a 37. It's oh, a oh, wood perch. Papa Wemba. Wood, wood the perch. 37. 37. Bam. Great. Top perch. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. A new top fish for Team Shimano, but 37 centimeters is not enough since Team Headbanger caught a 44. Yeah, this is a super, super cool place. Uh, quite shallow. That's why we, we are using uh, different lures, but I'm, I'm uh, working with uh, Jerkbait, Zipbait's Ridge 90, and Martin's using Chatterbait. We caught some uh, clickers, three. Uh, but uh, now it's getting slower and or, or small ones. So there, there they are. Yeah, so we, we release them so. What shall we do, Adam? Go right away out? Because we had some spots, you know, uh, I think it's after this one. It was the place, you know, we got uh, like a lot of big 30s yeah. between the fingers. Are you driving slow or fast? Slow. Huh? Slow. Okay, so first we go to... I think uh, the better fishing we had was more to the islands on the other side. Yeah, let's go there. Because we caught some 30s on the spinner bait in a small pocket. I think it's going to be very shallow pretty okay, soon. Okay, shallow. <laughs> Slow down now. Yeah. We drive with the, with the trolling motor. The last, last leg. Like towards this, we had the pikes. What do you... If you can push the boat in to the edge there, the, the, the tip. Uh, well, maybe here. Just push it in here. You see the bank, Adam. I really like this. The way you're fishing, <laughs> bank hopping. Yeah. Clicker. Yeah, clicker. Click it. It's nice. We go for the good spot now. We gotta pump it up. Pump, 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 pump. Big shopper. Adam, we're gonna take them all. Sweep the area. Find the halfling. We got the sweep, clean it. Release the hounds. Well, it can be. Measure it. Yeah, this is a clear. No! <laughs> yeah, for sure a clicker. It's like 31 almost. So we arrived at our new spot. It's uh, yeah, it's a hidden place. We try to hide between the, the weeds and everything. Yeah, and what we try to do is to catch the fishes in front of the weeds. We have a lot of bait fish all around that area and uh, we hear fishes chasing. Yeah, it's actually kind of embarrassing that we can't go there where the fishes are hunting. We just want to, to stay for 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something like that. Um, after that we go to another spot. Yeah, a kind of spot hopping today. Yeah, we saw the chasing fishes up there and we just tried to find a spot where we, get, where we can get close to it, but can't stand here, it's too deep. That's sad, but we can't get to the hunting fishes. There's so much bait fish. Or oh, we could stand there. I think we should try. Look, huh? we should try. We can stand here and then we rip it the last meters. Hopefully it's not too muddy. Yeah, perfect. Yeah? Very good. <laughs> now we are ripping some lips. Bro, Henke. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Shit. I... Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Mads. <laughs> Always wear helmets. Oh, fish on. Yep. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a perch. As always, the wake pro. 
Let's go back. Keep on using. We have come pretty far into shore day and it seems like many of the teams are struggling with catching perch longer than 30 centimeters. Team Headbanger who started fishing at 6 this morning is the team who have the best paper so far and they have more to come. Are you ready? Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's a good one. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey! That's a good one. Long yeah. one. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> I will go and get my rod. <laughs> <laughs> it floats. They're really good with this Savage Gear rod is that they actually completely float. So if you drop them out of the boat, no problem. Perch is served on this natural table, caught on the cranky shad. We'll see how long it is. It's uh, 43, so it's our second biggest fish of the day. Wow, what a fish. Today I'm fishing the, the cranky shad. Uh, it's a perfect bait for like a day like this when the, the conditions are very windy because uh, the headbanger cranky shad, it moves a lot of water and it gives a lot of vibration and flashes and yeah, uh, the perch will not miss it in the water. So that's that's perfect bait for today. We have the cranky shad in the smaller version. It's uh, 6.4 centimeter without uh, action lip. And then we also have the, the bigger size that is uh, 7.6 centimeter which I'm going for today when I need a little bit heavier lure to make a further uh, casting distance and also going for, for big perch. Do I, should I try to get it before it, it's gonna get stuck in the weed maybe? Shit, I missed it. What the f are you? Yep. <laughs> nice. You got it. <laughs> that's approved. That's nice. an upgrade. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Good job. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, now I'm back at shore. Shoreline again with a upgrade for Team Headbanger. I'm pretty sure this fish will be like around 42, maybe 43 centimeters. Oh no, it wasn't as big as I thought. It's 40, so it's still a improvement, an upgrade. Very nice fish. They're taking very carefully. I think they're not active, but we're getting, getting them to bite. So that's good. It's now 11 o'clock and that means that teams have one more hours left of fishing before it's time to make the last phone report. After that they will have no idea about the results of the other guys. Ah, uh, here's the pike again. <laughs> yeah. Pike? Yeah. Yeah. The sharper spinner bait doesn't always catch perch. It also claims its fair share of... Yeah, it's the Inquisitor inside the mouth. You're kidding. No way, no way. You... Get, the, get the net. We gotta do some operation on this one. Yeah, he fought your lure. Okay, you ready to just put the pike in? Yeah, it's in. That's nice. This is, this is just luck. Pure f***ing luck. <laughs> so, we had a little... Uh, fluorocarbon accident, Everett snagged this one and uh, it, it cut the fluoro and we thought, damn it. I take a cast, boom, the pike hits. Uh, and we can get the, the inquisitor out, the chopper out and it's, you know, beautiful pike, beautiful river pike, nice fight, great colors. Off she goes. Awesome. I'm so happy to get uh, that lure back. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it was a, it's a killer lure. We are struggling a little bit. We're only catching pike. I keep, I keep going with the top water. I think we have no, our only chance to get a point today is to get one on top water. But I don't know if the chances are big enough. But um, we cannot. I don't think we can catch a tank right here. And I think that our chances on numbers they are gone already so top water is is uh, the key to a one point today but it's very very difficult let's get a big one now danskian let's get a biggie 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 can't you see sometimes sometimes they hypnotize me sure day is really challenging our teams and there is nothing else to do but keep looking 
Team Bytoblik have had enough of their first lake and will now try a different one. Yeah, we're off to the next spot now and uh, our low pressure is continuing and it starts pouring down rain right now. I think we are going to have a really hard day today. And a hard day is just about to get harder for Team Bytoblik. We cannot go out here. What Where car is it? Is it? Um, it's Shimano. It's Shimano? Yeah, it's Shimano. I will go and look what car it is. Yeah, it's Shimano. Let's go. We need to go somewhere else. We can get the boat in when Shimano's car is standing in the way. So let's back up and go another way. Rickard doesn't seem too happy about Team Shimano's parking spot. At the same time, Pelle and Thierry are about to get a full paper unknowingly about Team Bite Oblique's situation. Oh. Let's check. Oh, yes. 32. They, they're just really slowly retrieving them. But mine is not approved. 32 centimeter perch. So, great. It's a validate one. And my fifth, our fifth? Yeah, oh, great. full paper. Days like this when it's slow fishing, a full paper will bring some good confidence. The level of confidence is definitely also raising for team eholotes.eu. Heavy rain hit them hard, but that does not matter when the fish are biting like crazy. Thank you, Birchcock! We need to measure. One more. Now the rain comes, and super strong rain, but finally we found the perches, and they are biting one by one. And this is, should be over 35. Let's so, let's, let's start to do our job. Let's measure. 37. 37. Yep. Approve. Approve. 36. 37, 36. 30. Yep. Number three. And, and 32. 36. 36. 31, number 8, 33, number 9. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let me say it again. No. no. It it's is. Okay. It's clicker. Can you click, please? Number 15. We go ahead. We expect to reach 50, not 15. Let's see. The crazy, crazy rain. Gore-Tex stuff. I hope it will, will help. I've got a gut feeling that we have to step up, Adam. Mm, no shit, sure luck. <laughs> <laughs> because this is... But our best spots are still ahead. Yeah, in my opinion, we can go. Now, <laughs> like after this cast, we move. Because we fished this area, we caught some fish, but the best is down there. Yeah, we have a full afternoon. Maybe it's good to pop some smoke with the low uh, numbers. For the other teams, Strike Pro Water Strike. Also good for stir your coffee. Boom! Measure it. Beautiful! Check it out, baby! Oof! Where did you uh, in between the weeds? Yeah, and a long cast so I can fish before the weeds as well. But there's some soft ground here, so watch your step like a lot. Beautiful. Oh! like 35 and you have one one two three four five six seven eight nine stripes nine striped golden perch quick measure on this one 34 yeah 34 it looks bigger yeah it's a beautiful fish look at the conditions on it it's like really good looking ones okay we've got to catch more fish now with 30 minutes till the launch report, the teams are finally starting to adapt to outer conditions. Nice. Squall. Keep pesquitos. Approved. Approved. Already clicked it, the mother Almost the same lure. The cheddar bait. Big hula cheddar bait. There's like a, a deeper finger going along the island. Maybe it's like 80 centimeters. I bought some weeds and I threw over there. <laughs> the small pie come out. So cool. That's approved, right? I will check it. Can be a close call. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> man, this is so much fun. Mine is a clicker. That's a nice one. I'll say again, chopper spinnerbait. Tandem spinnerbait, nice balanced weight, and a great hook on it. Nice fish. Just like yesterday, Team Catch with Care are happy with catching numbers, and that's one thing they don't have in common with Team Neistroft. Today they were the last team to start fishing, and they are looking for that one big perch, just like yesterday. Yeah, we started quite late, and our target for today, again, catching this one big fish. Maybe if we're lucky on top water, we will see, but we are really hunting for this one tank. Uh, and the good thing is, I think most of the people doing it different, they don't start uh, late, I guess. So at the 12 o'clock report, we really see uh, how the result is and we can adapt to that. That's quite good. We'll see, hopefully we will get another fish here. If not, we leave in the next five minutes and drive half an hour to, to another spot. No luck for Dustin and Toby at the first spot, so they are taking off to the next one. Sure, they hasn't delivered any crazy results so far, so even though they are at zero, they are not too far behind. Centimeters. Yeah, first double strike of the day. Two nice fish. Let's release How long them. was yours? Uh, <laughs> mine was uh, 38. 38, okay, this was 43. 43. They are biting right now, so we have to hurry up. Oh, that's a netting. <laughs> 40. Ha, one centimeter upgrade. Last seconds. Team Headbanger are pushing it all the way into the lunch report, and so are nice. Team Kingfisher Race and Kamotakel. Yesterday they got the top water point, and that's also their main goal of the day. Yeah. But it came up this. No, it's a perch. Is that a perch? Yeah. Take it. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, that's a... Take it, take it, take it. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> we that's did it again! Upgrade. Yes! Oh! Two minutes to go! <laughs> oh, you. sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh, the last cast before the report. Get the lure. Don't be afraid of big oh. lures. <laughs> We should go to the boat. I'm scared that we lose it. Moment of truth. Oh, nice fish. He's so calm. He's really calm. That's a 43. Yeah, exactly there. There it is. 40. There it's fixed. 43. Only one centimeter from the top water point for Team Kingfisher Race and Kamotakel. It's now 12 o'clock. Let's call the teams. This is uh, Tobias Ekvall from Team Neistrop and we haven't caught a single fish. And we're fishing a small lake in the middle of the Netherlands. This is Stefan from Team Sporting. We are fishing in the middle part of Sweden and we haven't caught a single fish. Hello guys, this is Peter Fredriksson from Bite Bleak. We are in the middle part of Sweden and we have caught zero fish. Hello guys, this is uh, Pelle from Chimono. We have uh, the number of 13 perch. We have the biggest one, 37. Uh, top five is uh, 174. And we got zero on top water. And we are the, in the middle part of Sweden, in a small lake. Hello, it is Martins from Ecolotus EU. We are in the middle of Sweden, somewhere. And we have uh, 16 numbers, one six. The biggest one is 38 and top five is 181 and no fish on top water. 
Uh, hi everybody, this is Adam from Catch With Care. Uh, our total number is uh, 1515. We have nothing on top water and the biggest one is 35. Our top five is 159. And we are in the middle of Sweden in a river, Norland, you know. Hey, this is Matthias from Kingfisher Reisen Camo Tackle. We have a total of two fish. Total top five is 78 and the biggest fish is 43 catch on top water. And we are fishing in the middle of Sweden in a lake system. This is Emmanuel from Team Headbanger. We have a total number of 12 fish. Uh, the biggest fish is 44 centimeters. Our total top five is 207 centimeters. And our biggest fish on top water is 44 centimeters. Uh, and we are in the north of Sweden in a lake. Good job. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Yeah, day is not over yet. The day isn't over. It is a good fish anyway. But um, yeah, we have to deal with headbanger. That was for sure. Yeah, it is as it is. The other teams haven't caught that well, but they probably started late. So we were hoping to have the top water fish with the 43. Yeah. But one centimeter is missing. Okay, that was nice. We got the top water point at the moment, and yeah. we got the top five and the biggest fish. Yeah. And we're not uh, too far from the at the numbers. Everyone is fishing in Sweden except us. Hey, we had a 49 in the uh, training from the shore. Yes. We can do that. At the moment, headbanger three points. Yeah. Cool. We need to steal point of that. What do we do now? What do we do now? Do we go for numbers? We don't drive <laughs> to a lake with <laughs> crazy numbers. Yeah. You know what to do now, huh? Yeah. Let's get the f out of here. Up, 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 up. <coughs> Let, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna move to a brand new lake. I think. Headbanger is uh, Yeah, but solid. top water fish is out of our reach. We must try it, but I think. Numbers first. Numbers first. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> Bushman. See you next week, guys. Follow us. Catch with care. <laughs> let's start. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's start go. instead. <laughs> Episode 3 is over, and that means we have come halfway through Shore Day. Right now, Team Headbanger have three points, but the chasing teams are not too far behind. This will be a battle all the way over the finish line, and you do not want to miss that. My name is Mille Pettersson, and see you guys next Friday. It's a big fish. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, f